Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl and there is Miss Kalulu. <laughs> and Auntie Linda, did you by chance happen to see what Miss Kalulu is sleeping on? <laughs> Monkey! <laughs> Her baby. I hope everyone is doing well. I have a Dollar Tree haul for all of you. It was a beautiful day here in the Hudson Valley in the state of New York. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely gorgeous today. Um, definitely sweatshirt weather, it was beautiful. I hope everyone is doing well. I am going to jump right in because it is a very big Dollar Tree haul. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, tea, whatever your time zone you're on. I'm actually drinking a Dunkin' Donuts coffee right now that I've been milking for like half the afternoon. I came home and kind of filled it up the rest of the way and put more ice in it. So I'm going to take a sip really quick here because I feel like I'm going to cough. Oh, I love, 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 love. Okay. Dollar Tree is plain and simple kicking ass. I'm telling you with brand names, they have such amazing things coming out right now. So let's hop right in. Okay. Uh, let's start with some new food items I found. Now, this is something I normally wouldn't grab, but this caught my attention. It is called Choco Dips or maybe it's Choco Dips. This one is by Global Brands. It's an eight pack. There's two cookies in each package. This one is caramel cream. Now, I've never seen these before. They say that they are a product of Turkey and they are, let's see, they're imported from Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm interested to see what these taste like. That is supposedly what they look like inside, but we know a picture doesn't always, you know, mean what it looks like. So I'm going to check those out. They also had another flavor, same company. By the way, the packages are 6.8 ounces. This one is just cocoa covered sandwich cookie. So this one is a little bit different. As you can see, so there's two in each package, individually wrapped. So I thought, you know what? Why not? We'll give them a try. And if I surely happen to not like them, I can guarantee that Grandpa will. <laughs> and just while I'm bringing that up, um, it just kind of went, boing, a little bell went off in my head. Um, speaking of Grandpa, I think I have some of you or most of you under the impression that he's my biological grandfather. And Grandpa is not my grandfather, although he would be a perfect shoe-in for one. <laughs> we call him Grandpa mostly because of Kahlua, but Grandpa is really the boyfriend's dad. Um, actually, it's his stepdad. So I call him grandpa because he's, you know, he's going to be 80 years old in June. And with Kalua, Kalua calls, well, she doesn't say grandpa. Uh, I wish she could because I'd be a zillionaire. <laughs> but I just wanted to clear that, clarify that with all of you. Unfortunately, all my grandparents, I did get to meet them all, but unfortunately, they're all gone. They're no longer with me. So, um, you know, that's why we have this grandpa. He's an adopted grandpa. Okay, so moving on. I then picked up, this is just a household essential, the, the Fresh Cup 150 coffee filters. I mean, sometimes, I don't know, some people say coffee filters can make or break your coffee. I think maybe to a degree and just like there's different types and flavors of coffee some people like really really strong coffee if you want strong coffee here's the place to get it oi man it'll make you have you'll put hair on your chest literally um <laughs> but it, it's you know i don't know everybody's got their preference for me i've been using this dollar tree brand for years I've never had any problem. In fact, I have people tell me that my coffee is awesome all the time that I make at home. And it can't be that awesome if the filter sucks. So they're good in my opinion. I did grab two more packages because I'm going to be putting together a little type of, I'll give you a pre-hint, like a little bit of a Easter giveaway thing. Um, I got some ideas cooking in my brain. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to put a big Easter basket together and you know wrap it up all really nice and pretty and do a giveaway for Easter and I thought you know what there's no way I'm gonna pull off doing a basket doing it all pretty and wrapped up it's just not gonna ship it would cost me you know a fortune to get a box this big 
So I'm thinking of doing a Easter Bunny box giveaway in almost like a shoe style type box, like a shoe, um, I'll show you what type of box I'm talking about. If you're interested, I'll give you more information about it. Um, so this is going to be one of the items that's actually going to be in the bunny box. And this is the Lifesavers. This is the pineapple, the watermelon, and the raspberry flavors. They're all individually wrapped. Yum! These are so good. And that's the only time you find these specific flavors is around this time of the year. But anyways, I picked up two because I'm probably going to do one two either two or three bunny boxes for giveaways i'm not sure yet but stay tuned you never know when something's gonna just pop out of there okay also moving on <clears throat> excuse me i found some other treats this was a repeat purchase this is the mini carnival egg pops the eight count some of these are also going to be going into the bunny box and here come the russell stovers da -da -da -da! We have the Russell Stovers. These are the 2.95 ounce. This is the coconut in the dark chocolate. Yummy, yum, yum. I am not a coconut lover, so these are not for me. These are good until August of 2021, and I'm sure these will be wiped out in the first sitting. Because you usually get about six in bags, seven maybe if you're lucky. Then they had the 2.95 ounce, the Russell Stover's in the milk chocolate with the marshmallows. So yum, yum, yum. I love the fact that they use these pretty colors and obviously it's for packaging purposes to get your attention because that's what it's about, presentation. Um, but they're still pretty to look at. I did get this set of ears which will be going into the bunny box. This is not the set I had on my head the other day. That set belongs to me, but I liked this one so much. And yes, a lot of you mentioned it looked pretty good on me. I thought so too. Um, this one is going to be going in the bunny box. So like I said, you guys have to pay attention. This may be something you like and maybe not. And then you won't even bother to try to get it. So this is why I'm kind of mentioning the bunny box. Okay. They had these new treats, which I've never seen before meaning out at Dollar Tree, um, Goldfish by Pepperidge Farm. Brand name, screaming a brand name. What these are are 5.5 ounces, and it's baked goldfish. The expiration date is July 11th of 2020, so that's probably a good reason why they're at Dollar Tree. These are called Epic Crunch, Tortilla Crunch Big Flavor Nacho. So epic, hmm, wonder if they're going to stand by that because are they really that epic? <laughs> Anyways, um, for a buck a bag, wow, you can't beat it. If you have Pepperidge Farm coupons or Goldfish coupons from your local sales paper, use it. You get this for free. Everything would be free. I did pick up three. Also, they had in the Goldfishies, they also had... The Epic Crunch in the Ranch Flavored. This is a 5.5 ounce bag. Can't beat it. You cannot beat it. I also grabbed three of these because obviously we always take care of Grandpa here. And I usually send him home about every week with a goodie bag of treats and crackers and cereals. And it's so funny because it's like if I don't do it, he's like looking like, where's my bag of stuff? It was funny, he was over yesterday and I was making fresh chocolate chip cookies. And um, I just pulled a dozen out of the oven. And we were talking for a minute. So they had the chance to cool off and they were sitting on the tray. And I said, would you like some chocolate chip cookies to take home? And uh, he's like, oh yeah, sure. So I gave him a bag and it was funny because he took the whole tray. <laughs> which was totally fine because I had more than enough. But he said to me, he goes... These are my favorite and I'm not passing them up. Bless his heart. You know, when I can make him smile, that makes me feel so good. All right, I found a couple new makeup bags, pencil bags, you call them whatever you want to call them. This is such a unique color, but the best I could give you would be a coral color, a true coral color. So the backside is that coral color. You have a white zipper. 
you can fit, well, I should say I can fit both my hands in there so you can tell how big it actually is. If I do a measurement, the measurement itself is six by seven and a half, according to Miss Rizzo. This one says, hang in there. I'm not sure because of the glue. Well, there you go. And then you can see the sloth hanging. Isn't that too cute? The other one, more sloths. So for those of you that like sloths, this one, oh, there's a piece of doggy fuzz on here. Let me get that off. You need to be brushed, Missy. You have a very pale blue. And then when you turn it over, you have all these little sloths hanging from rainbows and shooting stars. Absolutely adorable. And then you've got a matching zipper on top. Super, super cute. Oh my gosh, so much cute stuff for Easter baskets. Oh, alrighty. I thought this was kind of fun. Who doesn't like a dream catcher? Now, these are very interesting. This first one, they say that they are 10 inches long in length. And these are going to be treats for somebody, so I don't want to take them out of the wrapper. This first one, as you can tell, it's a rainbow. Now, what you're seeing here, is, let me shake the strings down a little bit. Okay, so you've got, <laughs> I look at this and I'm right away the 80s because who didn't have, and I, get, I don't even know what you called them. Well, I'll be honest, we called them roach clips, to be honest, or alligator clips. And who didn't have the feather clips? Come on, we all had them. We had the feather earrings. I mean, I'm totally going back into the 80s here. So they had this one here. It's got these little faux pearls, and then it has all these different feathers. Now, these are so unique because every single one I looked at, the pattern coloring was different. So no two are anywhere close being the same. Me, I tried to find as much purple and pink as I could because that's just how I roll, and I love the black too. But none of these have black in them. So the three designs that they had, and they were the only ones on the strip, and it was a brand new strip. So they have the rainbow, again, 10 inches. They have, let me shake this one down a little bit more. They have this heart, which is really, really pretty. You could put these in your rear view mirror um, as long as you don't get busted with them, depending on the state you're in. And can you guys guess what this one is? Is it a donut? Is it a unicorn? Which one is it, Kalu? What, what, what is it? Should we tell them? Should we tell them? It's a unicorn -y. Oh, isn't that cute? Again, you've got these long strings in all different colors and then all these pretty feathers. Super cute. All right, moving on. How about we talk a little bit about some unicorn poop? Yes, I said unicorn poop. Unicorn poop lip balm. This is, um, <laughs> It's perfect for an Easter basket. So there it is. And it's definitely got pinks and purple and teal. And it's the lip balm that you just unplug from the bottom. You just open it up and there it is. There is your official unicorn poop. Great for Easter baskets. Great for whatever you would like it to be. To be very honest with you, I don't, I, I think itself, I'm going to use it on my three-tiered tray because when you put it down, you know, I mean, it sits flat. When you put it down, to me, it just almost looks like it could be like a piece of candy or something because it's got little stars. You see all the little stars on there? So you want it to be poop or you want it to be candy? It's totally up to you. Just my suggestion. I did finally get some different types of napkins as we're getting into closer to St. Patrick's Day. Um, Easter, I like to start bringing in some of the spring colors so it just starts brightening things up a little bit. So I opt always for these because it's got all the pretty colors and it goes with the decor, whatever kind of pastel color you choose. So I went with um, this. You get uh, 18 in a package and these are just your standard square size napkins. Came across this, which I thought was kind of different. Never seen this before. It's a brand name. It's Conair fishtail braider it's a two-piece set and i'll show you what it looks like and then i'm going to show you the side so you can kind of see what it is it's a solid piece in there and here's the directions on the 
back. Let me see if I can, can I get in here. No, it's all sealed up. But it's just, I don't know if you can, yeah, you, can you see it right in there? It's just a pink piece of plastic. Then there's a hair tie in there. But evidently, you can do that. And since my hair is long enough to do that, I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try and see something we can do. Okay, these are too stinking cute. And I'm looking at my clock going, oh my God, there's no way I'm not going to pull it off. <laughs> All right, it should be two for Tuesday, but that's tomorrow. Okay, these are too stinking cute. Uh, let me make sure. One, two, three, four. I thought I had one more clue. I do. Okay. I thought you stole one of my, th not stole it. You know what I mean. We'll have to show you. She's finally got, you can see right there, her green necklaces. She's very happy. She has a light green and a dark green. All right. So these are super adorable. These are called Brush Buddies Popping Toothbrush. <laughs> Evidently, we have a couple with names on them. So this one appears to me to look like a tiger. And this one's name is Ricky. I've never seen these before. Let me get the glare off for you. This is what they look like. It says, oh, you can collect one, two, three, four, five different ones. And I think I have all five actually. So here's the first one. Has anybody ever seen these before? I've never seen these before. And then there's a little button here on the front and I haven't really read everything yet, but it looks like you pop its head off and stick your toothbrush in there. <laughs> pop its head off and stick your toothbrush in there. So they had this one. Then they had this one, which is called Haley and it's a blue elephant. There it is a nice side profile. So they had these two. This one here is called Leapin' Louie, and that's a frog. Look at that face for anybody that loves frogs. They had this one here, which is a kitty cat, and it looks like a tiger. Yep, Toothy Toby. There's Toothy Toby. Right? How cool for a Easter basket, right? You're going to give a kid a whole ton of candy, Stick a little toothpaste in one of these in here with a toothbrush and mom and dad will be happy. Last but not least, and I think this one's my favorite, it's a moon cow and it's Milky Wayne. <laughs> so look at that moon cow's face. Look at that face. That's so adorable. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to pull it off. There's no way. I could keep going, but... Some of you have said, oh, you guys, it's getting too long. And some people say it's not long enough. And I cannot please everyone. I would love to be able to do so. But unfortunately, I can't even please myself half the time. So I do the best that I can to do a happy medium for everyone. But um, you've got tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And usually there's a two for Tuesday. I have so much new mail to share with all of you. I also have a company that just sent me some awesome cool sunglasses. So I'm gonna be doing a review on sunglasses. I have three different pairs of sunglasses. I have, you know that company that I did the review on with the forks and the knives and the spoons and they were made from um, wood. They have now sent me a full dining set. We're gonna share that with you. And I think that's about it for now. Um, I was gonna see if Kahlua wanted to like check in with all of you, but as you can see, she sat. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye for now.